Hi everyone, this is Business 110, Introduction to Business. My name is Jeremy Railton and I'll be your instructor this semester. In this video, I'll give you a brief walkthrough of how the course is going to work. The first item is here is orientation video where you'll find this video posted, hopefully. The next item is the meet your instructor and communication expectations item where you can see some information about me, how to contact me, office hours and whatnot. I should have my office hours actually posted by the time you view this video. Um, the next item is the syllabus, which is incredibly important because it sets the policies for this course and how everything is going to work. You can see again my contact info there. You can take a minute to admire how fantastic I look in that photo. Uh, and then we can start looking at other important items, one of which is the textbook. So the way the bookstore posts it, you can choose between the Cengage Unlimited Access Card, which gives you access to the e-text, as well as a very cheap option for renting the book. You basically just have to pay for shipping. Uh, it also shows you a picture of the cover of the book if you're getting that hard copy. Um, um, some people just really prefer to have the hard copy and, and want to own it. So you can buy that from the bookstore if you want. You can also click this link if you want to buy directly from Cengage. You might save a little bit of money that way. Um, but you can't use financial aid on their website. So I guess that's the catch. As far as attendance goes for an online course, as long as you're keeping up with the due dates and turning in work, you don't even have to think about attendance because you're going to be doing it automatically. If you find yourself falling behind, however, just keep in mind, if you haven't participated for 21 consecutive days, I have to withdraw you according to campus policy. Uh, so if you find yourself falling behind, communicate with me, log in uh, to submit something here and there so you stay in the class and I don't have to withdraw you. The last day to withdraw is April 11th. If it gets to that point, it won't for most of you. But if you find yourself wondering whether you should withdraw, reach out to me and, and we'll talk about it and I'll give you all the information I can. The way your grade will be calculated, 40% of your overall grade is the written assignments, 40% is chapter quizzes, and the remaining 20% is the final exam. We're using a standard 10-point scale, 90 to 100 is an A, and so on. I do accept late work. This is a very common question that I get. Um, there are some caveats, however. Uh, I only accept work up to six days late, not beyond that. And there is a penalty of 10 points per day past the due date. So you don't have to give me an excuse for why something was late. I know that life happens sometimes. Some of you are working and you got kids and you got family obligations. I understand that. It's fine. Just hand things in as quickly as you can if you miss a due date to minimize that penalty. Two exceptions to that policy are the final chapter's work and the final exam. I have to be strict on those so I can submit final grades on time. Let's see. Um, the last important item I'll mention in here is the AI policy. I put this in other important information. Uh, the long and short of it is that I don't allow AI use for this course. I give you plenty of information and resources in order to do the work on your own. We're going to try to work on um, allowing you to process information rather than outsourcing that to some electronic system. Uh, the way things will work is if, if I suspect that somebody's using AI to do an assignment, I'll just assign it a zero and then I'll prompt you to contact me. We can meet and we can talk about it. I might have made a mistake. So if in our discussion, I realized that I made a mistake and you actually did do this work on your own, then we have no issue uh, and we'll move on with our lives. Um, so that's how that's going to work. Back to the course. The course schedule is incredibly important. It has all your due dates and assignments for the semester. So you'll want to download this. You'll want to add all of these dates to your personal calendar so that you're always on track and you're not blindsided by some due date that snuck up on you. This course specifically is a what we call a late start. It's a, a 13 week course instead of 16. So there are going to be several due dates here where we're doubling up on chapters. So you have to keep in mind that fact as you're going through the course you can plan your time accordingly so just pay very close attention to the course schedule so you know what is due when and how much time you're going to need to do the work you'll see a link here that links out to the course uh, textbook if you're using that Cengage unlimited access card
In the Start Here area, you can find a lot of stuff like some basic course information, course description, learning objectives, uh, primer on how to pro uh, track your progress through the course. Um, there's some helpful videos in here. For a lot of you, this might be your first online class, your first time using Blackboard, your first time at Gaston College. So some quick tutorials on how to submit assignments, how to do quizzes, how to participate in discussions, how to check your grades, stuff like that. Basic stuff that I think is very helpful. The very important item in here that you want to pay close attention to is the course entry quiz. You have to do this in order to stay in the course. It's not hard. You don't have to know anything. It'll take you maybe five minutes, maybe less. Uh, it just registers your entry into the course so you aren't withdrawn or dropped. So make sure to do this. Just go ahead and do it right now. Um, launching into the actual course content. So let's say we're get ready to do chapter one, ready to launch in and, and just start doing the actual coursework. So you see a host of helpful information here, learning resources, and then there will be two assignments. Most chapters will have two assignments uh, per chapter. Um, you can look at your learning objectives. You can look at the PowerPoint and lecture video. You can, uh, there's a link out to the textbook, a link out to some flashcards if you have the Cengage Unlimited access. A couple helpful videos to dive a little bit deeper on a few course topics uh, that we find in the chapter. And then there are the two assignments. There's a discussion activity and there's a quiz. Okay, so this pattern will hold as you go through the course content when you're done with chapter one, you can move on, boom, 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 all the way down. The very last item in here will be the final exam. It won't be available right now. It'll be available on the dates listed in the course schedule. So I think that's it. That's the basic rundown of how things work. If you find yourself having questions, please reach out to me. I love talking to students, especially answering questions regarding, regarding course content. Um, or if you just need a little bit of help getting oriented into Blackboard and online education and all that. So with that, I'll leave you to it. I hope you have a great semester.